guys, Eileen Vick here for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. And this is a video walkthrough of my coloring book, Mousing Around Jubilee, Volume 1. Uh, 51 images in here. And the cover was done by one of my peeps in my group, uh, Maggie, quote unquote, Rat Russell. Fitting, isn't it? So this is a series of actually three mousing arounds that I have. They've been insanely popular. So, <laughs> so after I did volume one, I was asked to do additional volumes. So I have a volume two and I have a volume three. Now, all of my books, by the way, I'm up to 70 books now. They all have the name Jubilee in them. Be a Mermaid Jubilee, Motivational Things to Color Jubilee, uh, Strange Things Jubilee. You get the idea. Here's a neat one, Whimsical Houses Jubilee. So when you're looking for me on Facebook, not Facebook, excuse me, Amazon, actually the best way to find all my books is search by my name. And it's an unusual spelling, I-L-E-N-E -E for Eileen and then Vic, V-I-C-K. Okay, so let's get going. Again, I've got a Facebook group called Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vic. I would encourage you to join. Um, I give away duet colorings. And what, <coughs> what that means is I color live every night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on YouTube. <clears throat> and the first, I do three uh, projects, and the first one is always the duet. So I think you would enjoy that. And also, just to let you know, I have a master's degree in adult education, and I love using that skill to teach coloring because I really enjoy it. All right, so let's skip through here. and get going on the uh, flip through. Let me check something here real quick. All right. So let's start that. It's a pretty cute book and I think you can see why people requested that I do more volumes. Really cute images. I think you'll enjoy them. Check it out. You can see that there's a lot of variety in my images. Now, I like to do my, my walkthroughs a little slower so that you can clearly see each image. I hate that when people go so super fast, you really don't get a chance to settle in on the picture. And you can see also in this particular book, that there's a combination of the um, photo grayscale and also the illustrative grayscale. I think this is so cute, the painting of the picture of the barn here. Check it out, little the little mouse doll here. So if you are a mouse person, this book is definitely for you. Now this one here, you could go ahead and add something extra here. You could put in a little saying if you like. Um, maybe somebody is feeling particularly down. You can write a little sympathy note in here. And I do that every once in a while in my books so that you can add extra things to it. 
And notice you could do that down the sides here as well. You'd probably want to do it on the right hand side. Check it out. I also make it a point to have my images for all levels. Now, this is the cover. Oh, maybe it isn't. Maybe we've got a... Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. Yeah, that's the cover. It's just a, a portion of it on the cover. Ridiculously cute with this uh, quilt. And you could add like rhinestones to it. Just a bunch of additional things just to make that quilt look really cool. I thought this was cute with the corn on the cob. I'm sure the farmer doesn't appreciate it, but hey, what can I say? <laughs> uh, now, here's another neat one. Room for writing something. You could write a little quote about love and friendship. That would be cool. You'll also notice that my images go edge to edge. I just think that's really neat in the coloring book. Here's a real simple mouse to do if you don't feel like getting involved in a picture. You could play around with that and really take the time to add realistic looking fur on this. You could really make this into something. Here is a metal mouse. Here's another little page. You could add something to it. I really want to give you a bang for your buck when you buy my books. Here's a nice little... Um, it looks like it's a soap sculpture on this one. And again, all different varieties of pictures in this book. Here's a little wedding couple. Now, when I was talking about different variety <coughs> in my books, um, volume two is a little bit different. You can look at the flip through, but all the pictures, this is the style of the pictures in volume two. So they're all a grayscale full page image. And from that standpoint, they're similar. Unlike this one, which has the different kinds of pictures. So you would need to decide from that uh, standpoint what kind you like. And this one's, this one's neat because it has a human hand. And so you'll be coloring that. Okay. A little mouse boy here. couple of mice in a glass cup. Glass, not cup, but glass, glass, <laughs> glass bowl. 
We'll get there. Cute little mouse on a paper hat. And again, you can see that I address all skill levels when I put my books together. Now on this one, if I were coloring it, I would go ahead and add in some names here and then distances on there. So you could say like Paris, 50 kilometers or 100 kilometers or miles if you want. It's up to you. I love this one. I think that's pretty cool. Now, I'm very, very picky about my pictures. So, I just want you to know that I don't just throw something in my books. Here's a little silly one for Christmas. Kind of a watercolor type picture. Now, you'll also notice that I like close-ups. I, I love that for detail. Here, zoom in. Zoom in. So check that out. Isn't that cool? Zoom out. Zoom out. There you go. Okay. So what do you think of my book? Do you like it? Let me know in comments. I thought this was really cute. Cat and then the mouse on the back. And you could have a field day with the background. Either use your uh, chalks, Faber-Castell chalks, for example, or use eyeshadow. You could draw a building in the background here, just a simple outline if that's your type of interest. Okay, now it looks like our corn cobs got more attention. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five mice instead of just the one that you saw earlier. Here's a couple of mice sliding down a hill. Just silly. Silly is fun. And look at this cutie. Isn't that cute? This one you could use acrylic paint on, for example. That would be fun. And then we've got our three little mice here on a branch. And then we've got a nice little line art here. Our mouse with the cheese. Little ballerina mouse. And 
And then we've got a mouse sitting by an entranceway in a brick wall. So lots of variety on this. And I absolutely love this picture. Zoom in. Isn't that ridiculously cute? Zoom in. Zoom in. Yeah, there you go. Too cute. Zoom out. Zoom out. There you go. And then, of course, you know that I'm always going to say thank you so much for your purchase. I do appreciate it. I really do. All right. So let's take a look at some of the pictures that are in this book. This is a color guide. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Here, let me center that just a little more. And then this is our, that last picture that you saw. And here's our mice with the corn. And then here is our little mouse that had the flower that was surrounded <coughs> by the butterflies and then our mouse coming out of the cup. Okay guys, that's it. Now, these books are also available in PDF format. But you need to contact me through Zoom Out, Zoom Out, Zoom Out. You need to contact me through Messenger, and I will make arrangements with you for you to get a hold of the book. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Again, Mousing Around Jubilee Volume 1, and I'll have... A video for Mousing Around Jubilee Volume 2 and Mousing Around Jubilee Volume 3. All right, guys, thank you so much. Take care. Oh, and these all have these both have 52 images, and this has 51. All right, guys, take care. Bye.